First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers. I woke up today and I had 20. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I, I can't tell you how um, I really appreciate everybody. And today I got another box from Mercari, the online app that I was telling you about before. And um, this lot here came from Megan Wood. Wooden. It's W-O-O-D-I-N. She is so sweet and amazing. I got stuff from her um, a few, like not the last video for the unpack, but the video before that. And so I reached out to her and I was like, this stuff is amazing. And um, so I ordered more from her and um, she said that it was fine for me to give her name out so everybody knows where she's at or who she is. Um, so Megan, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If anybody wants um, her information on Mercari, you can reach out to me. I'm going to try to put it in the description, um, but sometimes YouTube is funny about things I put in the, the description and I they won't let me advertise it. So I don't know what's going on with that, but Megan Wooden, W-O-O-D-I-N from Mercari, and this is the box she sent. So I'm going to open it up. So I saw a couple different lots that she had in um, I was like, please, please, I need them both. So, and then she put some extra stuff in here too for me because she's just a sweetheart. So I can't wait to see what we got. And better yet, I can't wait to make something out of these. So, ooh, shiny sparkles. There is so much stuff here that um, I'll probably end up breaking this up uh, to two videos. Oh my goodness, look at that. It just keeps going. So there's four baggies. That's amazing. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Let me put my craft wire down. Don't need that. Move that stuff out of the way here. We've got rhinestones and chains and all kinds of stuff. All right, so let's put this aside. We'll start with the small bag. Sorry about the splice in the camera here, um, but I had a technical issue, so I said I'm just going to start over um, with the camera. So in this little, this is the first of the bundles. So there's four, um, and so look, we've got earrings. This is cute. This one is a chandelier earring. That'll be pretty in the center of a, of a necklace. Look at all these beautiful little charm, one earring. Oh, look, this is like the one that went in the center of that bracelet that I made previously. That's pretty. And another earring. And, you know, you can do so many things with these single earrings. Like, I like to take off the post and then glue that in the center of something. So, you know, that um, will be added to something else to make it new. And then there's this little thing here. This has a little bit of metal sticking up on the back, but I bet we could... Oh, it's got some missing. But that's okay. I might be able to have the, this color. Um, but anyways, we could, we could probably take this down, make it flat. Um, I might be able, even be able to bend this. So we'll see. I'll I'll look. I'll see what I can do with that. I like to try to do something unusual with it. Another little earring. Another earring. Some rhinestones that fell out. Another little. Um, looks like it could be a charm of some sort. It's broken, but that doesn't stop me usually. <laughs> So the dogs are not barking. That's kind of unusual. They're, um, it's almost dark, so it's pretty close to being dark outside. So they um, are already in the house. So this looked like it had a few pieces of like a little 
um, pearl maybe that came off of it. So I have pearls that are beads. I wonder if they would fit. I could try that or I could even stick little green rhinestones in there. That would be pretty. So I don't, I don't know that I would color this metal because it looks like it's in pretty good shape. But interesting. Stuff to think about. Here's a little butterfly. That's pretty. It needs a center stone again. And then there's this piece. Very pretty. And we have a bracelet. I have one similar to this that's pink. That's really pretty. And then here's a, another single earring. Um, another earring. Ooh, little boy and girl, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, and there's the match to that earring, that's cool. And a butterfly. And another earring. So with this one, I'm going to harvest these, um, the uh, rhinestones in it because it's really easy to, to clip the, let me see if I can get this so you can see it. You can clip the little prongs and they fall right out. So, and then I can glue those back into something else. Here's a center piece there. Another. That's it earring but interesting. I like the way it's kind of swoopy right here. I don't think any of the stones are missing so that's cool. Oh you see I dropped something. There you go. Every video there's got to be something I drop. Oh this is pretty. I could put this in the center of a necklace. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. That is nice. That that I can see maybe with some um, leather, maybe some silk as a as a um, for around the necklace, or even just beaded. That's pretty. I love that. Thank you, Megan. And then we have a necklace that I would probably just. Um, I, I would probably just, you know, take the rhinestones out of that. And then this, this is really cute. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to see something. Let's see. I will, I will show you how I did these, these barrettes. Um, I put the rhinestones on here. So I will do a video on how I did this. But wouldn't that be pretty if maybe you attached that to a barrette? So that would be kind of dangling on the back side of your head. So, hmm. You probably can tell that I like to be sparkly. That's okay to be sparkly. And so this has lost the stone here. And it's kind of coming apart. So what I would do with this, I would just take this whole thing apart. Um, I would replace the rhinestone in the center of the ones that are missing. Let's see, there's two and two. So if, let's say we kept the purple one, and then we put a regular diamond colored rhinestone in there, or maybe a blue one, and then change the beads, maybe and made it and restrung it and put a clasp on it. That'd be that'd be pretty. And then we have these two pieces here. Those are cool. We've got some areas missing around there. Let's see if I can pop it out. Nope. I'll have to take a look at that and see what I could do. I'm sure we could glue some more rhinestones on that. Or just take them out, even, and then color it. So, options, options, options. Okay, and then this is a butterfly. Very 
pretty. Oh, look, they match. And set of, a set of butterflies. Those are cute. Hmm. And then this is an old earring. So that's pretty neat. I love this color green. This is such a pretty color green. And it looks like all the rhinestones are there. So that's good. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Do you see the chain? And then we have a, now I don't know, is this a poinsettia or is it a poinsettia? I argue with my husband. He says poinsettia. I've always called it a poinsettia. So I guess you'll have to tell me who's right. Am I right with poinsettia or is he right with poinsettia? And then there's this little heart, cute little heart. Oh, look at this. This is an this is a um, part of a tennis bracelet. That's very pretty. So, I have a silver one like this with rhinestones in it that I used to wear all the time. I probably should dig that out. Let's see, and then another earring that I would probably um, um, harvest the rhinestones. So, okay. So bag number one. Oh wait, nope, I lied. There's more. There is right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, little teeny tiny. There's some something, some beads in there. Some black beads. I'm not sure what that is. Something broken. That's what it looks like. Okay. So this is a piece of white glass, maybe milk glass. That's pretty. Let's see what we got here. A little angel. Oh, cute. Okay. Okay, let's see, what's this? Oh, this is cute. It looks, I can already tell what it is. It's got, it's like a toe ring. And it's got little um, beads on it. I love those. And here's this. This looks like a little, well, it looks like um, smoky quartz, but I'm sure it's just a, a, I'm sure it's just glass. But that's still pretty. I could reuse that. A little earring. Oh, here's the other earring. I wonder if somebody tried to make these. Look at that. So they wired. They did. This is a, this is a, come on camera. There we go. This is a um, handmade piece, looks like. They looks like they had the stars and then they added these other little pieces to it. Oh, I'm so sorry, the camera. Come on. Camera. Either that or it's me. Maybe I'm just looking at it and it looks blurry. Anyway, those are cute. And then little angels. Oh, and the little crystal. And another little angel. Those are cute little earrings. So, you know, it's got the halo. I almost feel like we could make this part of a dangle on the bottom of the earring since we have two. Instead of having them be posts, we could actually extend this and just make them like chandelier earrings or something. That's So that would be cute. Okay, bag number one is done. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop and then clean this up and then we'll go to the next one. Okay, let's see. Here we go, bag number two. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm definitely gonna probably break this up. 
Oh, those are neat. Cool. I like to clean these beads up, even though they look, you know, old and dirty. Clean them up and then um, um, do other things with it. Look at this. This is really cool. It looks like an enameled piece of metal. It came out of something, so I'd have to glue it on to something else. But that is so neat. Does it have a hole? No, it does not have a hole. Very cool. I wonder how they did that. Maybe I need to learn something new. You know, never stop learning. That's my that's my advice to everyone. If you don't know how to do something, see if you can look it up and see if you can figure out how to do it. And then just try it. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. This is a cool... Um, reminds me of my high school days bracelet. <laughs> it's pretty dirty. It's got some stuff on it, but I could clean that up. And then it looks like it's got some seed beads in there too. So if I didn't want to wear it, is it a bracelet or is it a hair tie? I think it's inside of it has a hair tie. Huh. Cool. It does remind me of the 80s though. That black and white reminds me of high school. Oh, who doesn't need a big cherry? I mean, come on. That's cool. That could be a Christmas ornament. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, this was a bracelet or a necklace. All of the, you know, the pearls are gone. Um, I have other size pearls. So we could, you could do this. Okay, so we could replace the pearls or we could replace that with some other kind of stone oh yeah look they just fall right out the glue tell it the glue is old so these are not going to last in there the ones that are in there look that just pops right out okay potential i see potential oh my goodness what the heck is that i wonder if this is one of those purse Holders. Watch, okay, check this out. Watch. It just kind of flings. So you hang this on the the table. So it sits on the table like this. If you go to a restaurant, and then you can hang your purse off of it. <laughs> so, which hey, you don't want to put your purse on the floor. So that might actually be a great great idea. Um, okay, here's a donut. Everybody needs a donut with sprinkles. A donut with sprinkles. Cute. A. All right. Who do we know that's an A? Um, I don't have any kids in my family with an A. I have to think about that. Oh, this is pretty. A little bracelet. And, okay, so these are plastic, which is fine. These are metal. This is metal. So I would deconstruct this, take the metal and the charms, and make it into a bracelet with glass beads. Because I like, I like the way glass feels. It's got a little bit more weight to it. Oh, check this out. You can do, you can give this to a chef. Oh, it looks like a spoon. Okay, so somebody made this. They filled this with um, resin and bent the spoon handle down. It's probably silver plated, it looks like it. And then made a, for a necklace, a necklace centerpiece. Christmas tree. And a watch. A watch necklace. That's cute. Ah, my favorite kind of thing. This is a metal piece of metal. Let's see, does it have any holes in it to where we can use it for a necklace? It does not. So, I wonder if I could glue a bale on it though. Back here. Or punch a hole in it. 
I don't know. But that looks like it needs to be painted with the alcohol ink, which is my new favorite thing. Then we could glue it to something to figure that out. Oh, and there's a little crown and a heart. What does that say? Where is my... Well, I did have some big, a big magnifying glass in here somewhere. Oh, well, let's see if I can see it. Nope. Well, if I do something with this, I will let you know what it says. And then there's this. Now, I know where this came from. This came from Walmart because I have one similar <laughs> that I used to put my um my badge from work on it um you know my name the name badge thing and then hang it from that <laughs> to hold my id not a badge badge but a name tag with that's what they call them badges let's see this is rhinestones this is pretty much empty of rhinestones. There's a couple on there. I'll take those out. And a pretty metal piece of earring. Here's an earring. This feels like glass. That's good. Glass is fine. Another earring. Pretty bracelet. So yeah, when I take these apart, then I separate. So like I would put the metal balls or the metal beads in a thing by itself. And then I, you know, use these as jump rings to for some other project. And I actually like these because they're they're kind of twisted. So you could take these apart and use them for like an earring, you know. And they have like a little bit of style to them. So reuse those. These are plastic, but these are glass. So this is plastic. The, the petals are plastic, but the little black rhinestones are glass. So that's cute. And then we have a little heart. Black and silver rhinestones. This is an earring, stuck to an earring. I, man, I, I see the potential for necklaces with these. So many. So many necklaces. And then there's an earring again. All right. More earrings. Ooh, fuzzy. <laughs> Christmas. That's, that's something else right there. That is definitely a wreath. If I had a dollhouse, that would be a cute little um, wreath for the front door, though, wouldn't it? And I could put more beads on there. Oh my gosh, I got more stuff to do than time I have. That's pretty. A little pink. And, ooh, here we go. So this is filthy. It's got rust on it. Um... But I see a lot of potential with this. It does have the, the pin back, so you could actually wear this as a pin. It's got a mark here. It looks just like a C. So that looks like something to revive. It's metal, you know, and I love metal. I'm going to put that aside. There we go. That's pretty. It's all pretty. Everything. I keep saying that. And then a bracelet. Okay, now this, when I pulled this out, my first thought was, what the heck are these beads? I think they're plastic. But look how weird these are. They're like bumpy. So they have a texture to them. This is glass. So it's a mixture of different, um, different uh, materials. 
it's like mixed media, isn't it? But I love the color. Look at this. This is a glass. This is a piece of glass. So definitely have some potential here. So I will have to think about that one. You know, I got my... Um, a lot of my craftiness for my mom, I told you guys that before, but I also had this aunt, her sister, who recently passed away, actually, um, December of last year, but she <laughs> she was such an inspiration to, to me, and I know a lot of the her kids and uh, just the people that she was around, because she could take something and look at it and say, oh, I could do... 10 different things with this. And I think because of her and my mom, you know, I think that that, but mostly her probably, um, is what gave me my ability or awareness maybe, um, to where I can look at something and see the different things that it can do. So like, this is a bracelet. Okay. But this could also if you, um, if you wrapped it, you know, you could make this the center of a necklace, cut all these extra strings off, you know, um, you could take it apart and use these beads. You could reuse the leather. I mean, there's just so many different things that you could do with, with items that, you know, that you see that, um, they don't have to stay the same is what I'm getting at. You know, it, it could be something else like this little tiny bracelet with all the elephants on it. How many pairs of earrings can we make with these? A lot. That is cute. Or clean them and maybe put a green um, bicone in between and then put a clasp on it and a dangly bead. I mean, you could just redo this whole bracelet just like that. Just something else. It's new. These are cute. Okay. Then you have a fancy animal print something. Oh, it's an earring. <laughs> 80s, let me tell you, all the way dangly down to my, to my neck. To my shoulders so okay very good okay well it's late the mail came late so I'm going to um, put these away and then we'll take another look tomorrow at the last two um, bags so anyway this was cute so thank you for joining me I think I will break this up into two videos just because I don't want it to be I don't want you to be sitting here for four hours with me um, so I'll pick this up put it away and then Video number two will come out um, after this. So you guys have a great night. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe. And um, I will see you next time.